It started with three BC men returning from the Second World War with one plane and a dream. That dream became Okanagan Helicopters, and in 1965, the company put this province on the world stage with a record-setting flight. Veronica Cooper explains. We had 35 boxes of photographs and film and textual documents that we had to organize into something that researchers can use. 35 boxes, and this Royal BC Museum contract archivist has sorted through them all and uncovered the remarkable history of a BC helicopter company, Okanagan Helicopters, that started with just one plane and grew to make history. They started off in 1947 with a fixed wing aircraft and three employees. Uh, they were all friends and they came back from the war wanting to start a company. That company was Okanagan Air Services, which sprayed fruit crops in the region. But it wasn't as profitable as the three men hoped, so they branched out and bought a helicopter. And then soon after, they moved into work on construction projects, topographical surveys, mining. In those days, helicopters were new, but it didn't take long to prove their value. They changed the name to Okanagan Helicopters, and the company took off. They started off with one Bell helicopter, and then by the 1950s, they branched off into using Sikorsky's and acquiring more equipment. And from there, they were employing more and more people. Um, by the time of this flight, they had subsidiaries around the world. That 1965 helicopter flight from Montreal to London, England, set a world record, yet had been largely forgotten, tucked away in a box. It was the first time that a commercial helicopter had actually traveled unescorted across the Atlantic. So when the flight took off from Montreal, they flew up to Frobisher and then across to Greenland, then across to Iceland, and then down to Gatwick. It was 37 hours of flying time, and that was broken up over the space of several days. So it took in total about a week to 10 days. Media on both sides of the Atlantic picked up the story. It brought a great deal of attention to Okanagan helicopters and to British Columbia sort of as a whole. Uh, the BC uh, Premier at the time sent a telegram of congratulations saying how proud he was that this was a BC company that was setting this world record. The company was absorbed by Canadian helicopters in the 80s, but this 1965 achievement remains a proud moment for Okanagan helicopters and our province. This Week in History, brought to you by the Royal BC Museum, bringing British Columbia's stories together.